J-Man here for the weekly X-Men talk. This is the second video this week because I've been catching up on all of these X-Men books. They decided to release 45 X-Men titles in one day. Um, and I just couldn't read them all because I'm reading a whole crap load of other comics. So I still missed Knights of X. So I just decided that when Knights of X number two comes out, I'll probably just read both one and two. So today we're looking at Legion of X number one and New Mutants number 25. So why don't we, you know what? Yeah, let's start with New Mutants 25 because I think that one's a week old now. I'm lost. Uh, before I get to that, I just want to take a minute uh, to ask everyone that if you do like this video and if you like this content, if you can give me a like and a subscribe and share the video. Uh, I normally don't ask, but I've recently seen that my analytics tell me that 60% of the people watching are actually not subscribers, so which is just weird. But uh, so I don't know. I don't know if that's just like a weird algorithm thing or I don't know. YouTube's weird. You know how it is. So if you like it, give me a like and a sub. All right. Let's talk about the New Mutants number 25. Um, oh, man, I really like this one. Now, normally the things that happen in this book would normally piss me, not piss me off, but bore me. There's some fighting at the end, but it's a lot of character talk. And nor <laughs> again, normally I'd be like, ah, this is boring. I don't know why I really like this one a lot. I, like, I'm almost thinking I might go back to physical copies on New Mutants. There's something about New Mutants. I, I can't put, like, my finger on it. it. If it's just them talking or hanging out, for some reason, I still think it's okay. I don't know why. I really like Danny Moonstar. I don't really know why either. She just, for some reason, I just got really pumped up for her. Obviously, magic is awesome. I've got a ma magic right there. Um, who else is in here? Wolfsbane is in, the, in this one, Rain. And who else was in it? Um, oh, Madeline Pryor, duh. So, okay, so basically what's happening is, um, oh, this was cool too. There's this like demon character. I don't know who this is. If this is someone from previous comics, let me know. So in Limbo, um, this shadowy figure, who I mean, I guess we could kind of tell who it is, but we're not going to really say, I guess. I don't know if it's a spoiler thing. He has asks this guy to drink this liquid and then this thing comes out of him. This weapon comes out of him and it's like this mace. So this guy's got this mace weapon. Um, and then we've got these sort of these fantasy style pages, which I actually really liked. I liked the art in this book. I like the colors. And you've got this little goblin creature running away from that that uh, Belasco, is that how you pronounce it, demon? Um, and then we're cutting to basically Danny, Rain, and uh, Magic all kind of having a little bit of a battle. Uh, I really like this page here. This is the, this, this, this double pager. Um, and uh, look how pretty, I just really like this. It just looks very pretty to me. I think it's really nice. So Madeline shows up and basically Magic wants someone to rule over Limbo and she's chosen Madeline Pryor. Okay, well, <laughs> you're like, oh, all right, I guess. Um, let's give Thanos all the Infinity Stones. No. They did give Thanos the Infinity Stones in Infinity Watch. Adam Warlock gave him one of, one of them to keep safe. Uh, I liked Infinity Watch, man. That was a cool comic back back in the back in the day, man. Jim Starlin, he's I think he did Infinity Watch. If not, whatever. That was a cool comic. And I should go back and read some of those. Anyways, we go back to these pages. I really like these fantasy pages. I don't know why they just look really nice. I like the story. What's going on here? Um, just I don't know. This just looks really good to me. The the thing with this New Mutants art um, is that it just feels like it's different. And um, I happen to really like it. So they're just, it's just the four, it's actually the four ladies. I didn't even realize that it's the four ladies. This is the, this is the, the, the female uh, <laughs> issue. Uh, it's the four ladies just talking about what it's going to be like if you're going to be the queen of limbo. Danny is not convinced, obviously, for good reason. Uh, Inferno, has anyone read Inferno? I have. And, you know, do you really want to give Madeline Pryor this power? 
Um, so they're just like they're writing the contracts out. They're walking through. I don't know why I, I started to think of Hellraiser 2, <laughs> Hellbound, Hellraiser 2, uh, time to play. And in that movie, they go to hell and Kirsty and everybody and Julia and all the characters from Hellraiser 1 who are still alive uh, are in hell just walking around and doing shit. And you're like, this is kind of cool. I like this. I like this just walking around limbo for no reason. Um, like, look at this. This is wicked, right? Like, I mean, it, it's not D and D. It's you know, it's not D and D art. Like, it ain't Larry Elmore or whatever. But it's just cool. Plus, I, I like the way Danny looks here. I don't know. Anyways, I like this whole story. Um, the the demons attack. He got a bit of a fight. So the fight starts on page nineteen. It's a longer book. This one. And it comes, cuts back to this really nice pages here. Hey, was there no, there was no white pages. Hold on a second, guys. Hold on. Bloody hell. There was no, those stupid white phone book pages, which I despise and I will not read them. I don't care. I'm not reading them. There was none of that in New Mutants. So obviously it can be done. Uh, that just made me like this more. Uh, you, you know what? I, that just made that just brought it up even more because I'm tired of these garbage white pages. Listen, I want art, I want action, I want good character stuff. Is it that difficult? No, it's not because this still had action. So, anyways, got Danny. I love this bow and arrow concept. Um, good battle here, and then I won't really spoil the end, I suppose, because you know whatever. <laughs> just because, yeah. So stuff happens. There's a cool thing at the end here. I mean, I, and, oh, I after it's all said and done, you get these. Uh, it's a little bit of a backstory with uh, with Ileana, with magic. And uh, this art reminds me of something. Someone in the comments is going to remember. What it, I'm seeing, I know I've seen this, this artist before or whatever. Um, yeah. I freaking thought this New Mutants was awesome, man. I'm like this close from going back to physical copies on New Mutants. I had quite a lot of them. I'm probably only missing like five or something. And I could probably get right back into it. I don't know what it is about New Mutants. Listen, if there's people out there that thought this was a bore fest and they didn't give a shit about it, I'm not going to argue against you. Like if you if you thought Executioner's Song was garbage, I might argue against you just because I like that a lot. But you know, like this one, I can see people not liking it. And even me, myself, if this was any other four characters, like if this was, you know, X Factor or something, um, well, that was a really not a great book. Um, but let's say it was like X Factor doing this. It's like I would just shit all over and say it's a bunch of crap. For whatever reason, I really like these characters hanging out in limbo. I mean, it, if you think it's a waste of time, I'm not going to fight you. But it could have been done in less pages, I agree, if that's an argument. I, I mean, yeah. But whatever reason, I really liked it. Uh, let's talk about Legion of X, number one. Uh, this one uh, was a very cool concept. Freaking, look, Nightcrawler's awesome, okay? Let's just face the freaking facts, okay? Nightcrawler, the first comic book store I ever went to in my entire life, ever. First comic book store. I bought three PVC figures. Remember those old PVC ones? Actually... I, vision i didn't vision is not one of them but there's a vision in here the white vision and he's like this he's like you know has got his arms up um i bought wolverine archangel and nightcrawler and where are they they're on one of these shelves i think they're oh they're shoved in behind over there if i remember and if somebody really wants to see them i'll pull them out i've shown them in other videos First characters I bought, first three PVs, I was like, oh, I got to get Nightcrawler. Yeah, you know, oh, obviously Wolverine's the best and Archangel's cool. So um, pretty good. So now this is like Legion who who's created some sort of like world or something, some dream world where people can come into. I'm a bit fuzzy on that, uh, but really pretty, ni nice colors. So anyways, uh, basically Nightcrawler has formed this police force or something. Boring. Um... He's formed this police force, sort of. They're not the police force, but they are. And uh, he's got Juggernaut on there. <laughs> Man, listen, if I, need to, if I need backup, I'm getting Juggernaut, okay? Like, screw you. Like, I, <laughs> so 
Um, here he is talking to Storm. I don't know why he's kneeling before Zod. It's like, you know, you and Storm literally appeared in the same comic together. Um, Storm's got her garbage costume. This costume's like, okay, I'm not, I, I, it's okay. But she was way cooler in the last, in that Immortal X-Men issue where she had the mohawk thing with like the black leather jacket. I thought that looked a lot cooler. Look at this character. Whoa, really, I've never seen this before. Maybe if you, if, if you have, let me know. Um, really cool character. So this, all this weird alien stuff. So basically, um, this alien creature wants Nightcrawler to like stop this god or something. You know, this book got a bit muddy for me. There, it, there's a couple. Of, there's a few. It could just be me. Um, I'm not the best at like. I don't want to say following storylines because obviously I can follow storylines. And I'm the go-to guy in movies when people don't understand what the movie's about. They usually ask me. But like when I'm reading a comic, I usually like it to be focused on kind of what's going on. And then you can have a couple of things back and forth. Now, this did have a few back and forth things. And I almost felt like each thing was more important than I would have liked to have had maybe more of each thing. It's weird. Like this is about a 30, 35 page book. It probably could have it should have maybe been two issues and had one I remember when new mutants was doing one storyline on one comic and then the next comic was another storyline but they were kind of happening at the same time but they weren't they were different teams in different spots i thought that was really neat so i mean in the meantime we've got these other characters who i don't really care about i don't even remember their names um although lost i think is one of them she's kind of cool but they're chasing the smoke character because he killed his wife or something. I don't I don't know. That was weird. Juggernaut, boom, he comes in. That's cool. Uh, but yeah. And they're going back and forth and talking to this Spike character. And he's like, oh, the, the, the skin jacker came and did all this weirdness. And they're like, okay, look, buddy, calm down. We're trying to get this out of you. So I really like this idea that there's like this like police force doing investigations. Now, X Factor had that X Factor investigations. And that was handled so poorly, and that was bad. So far, this has been pretty cool. Um, I'm not there yet. I'm kind of there because it's Nightcrawler, but I'm not fully in. Like New Mutants, I was like, wow, this was really good. This one was like, okay. I just couldn't, and then like, here's some more bullshit. I'm not reading this. Ooh, look, they added red to it. I don't care. Um, yeah, so, you know... It, it's fine um you know what's his face shows up here uh legion shows up i don't know why every time i don't like you know the quiet council like I, oh god i don't think it's very interesting i don't really care about these politics in here i don't like politics in real life and i freaking don't like politics in comics it just bores me remember that x corp comic where it was like a corporation i'm like is that interesting to anybody um, oh, I really like this girl though. What what is her name again? Weaponless, yeah. What the hell's her name? Weaponless Zen or something. And her mutant power is that she can paint. That's kind of cool. So this girl's pretty cool. I you know they should have had more with Nightcrawler and her doing stuff because I like this idea that she's like it's almost like the buddy cop thing. I like that part of it. So a lot of parts in this comic were really good. And some of it was just like, eh, I didn't care, but it was okay. I didn't hate any part of it. But the, but yeah, the two of them, that was a really cool idea. And then this chick appears at the, I mean, is this a spoiler? Eh, what, um, whatever, I won't show it then. I don't, you know, I don't even know who this character is. I Again, I'm a, I love X-Men, but I haven't read everything. I'm trying to go back and read it. I, I kind of liked X-Men just in passing as like a cool team-up book. But never hardcore like gotta read every issue so yeah uh that is it for this week uh i'm going to be streaming tonight so depending on when this video gets uploaded uh you might be able to catch me tonight i'm going to be talking about 90s comics with my buddy sean and we do this we actually do this every thursday we're doing it today because i'm seeing top gun part two or maverick or whatever it's called tomorrow so I can't do that. But then this Saturday, we're doing a Phantom Zone episode. That's where we talk about all the latest stuff. We'll talk about Kenobi. We'll talk about the She-Hulk trailer. We'll talk about the Thor trailer. We'll talk about all that up-and-coming nerd stuff. That's a live stream, 7.30 Eastern on Saturday. That's every Saturday. And 
Most of the time, I actually have a link up in the chat where people from the chat can join me live on the stream if they want to talk about stuff, if they want to argue and say, hey, I don't, I don't think what you're saying is right, or if they want to defend a position or whatever. So it's a totally open forum. Uh, we have a lot of fun. So hopefully if you guys can join us on that, that'd be great. Um, and I, I think that's it for uh, this week. So next week, there's a few things coming out and I'll try to do Knights of X if I can. Uh, and we're just going to go from there. All right, guys, until next time.